Hello everybody, welcome to the channel SRS. This is Sumit Roy and we'll study today uh, current shunt. We have already studied voltage series, voltage shunt, current series and today we'll study current shunt. So let us begin. We'll study AF, um, that is the amplification with feedback and the input impedance and the output impedance in this same lecture only. Okay, stay tuned. Let's begin. So I'll just draw the diagram of uh, shunt. So this is uh, like this. This is RES. This is A. And as it is shunt, so shunt mixing is there. And there is beta and as it is current, so current mixing, current feedback is there. So this is the basic block diagram. Uh, this is IF, this is II, this is I naught, this is RL and uh, this is I naught and uh, this is IF. Okay. So this is the diagram and we'll deal with AF. First of all, we have to calculate what is AF. So uh, according to this, what are, are given are is uh, A equal to I naught upon II, beta is equal to IF upon I naught and I here KCL, if KCL is applied, so I I equal to IS minus IF. I am directly writing the KCL here. So we have to calculate AF where AF stands for the complete feedback that is what is the ultimate output that is I naught and what is the ultimate input that is IS. So this is what has to be calculated. Okay, uh, so we will start with this equation that is II equal to IS minus IF. So I I equal to as uh, I have to replace so I have to substitute so I I can be replaced as I naught upon A equal to I S I leave the I S as it is containing I S I F can be replaced by beta into I naught and uh, ultimately I naught upon A plus beta into I naught equal to I S so I not taken common 1 upon A plus beta equal to I S and therefore I not 1 plus A beta upon A equal to I S and ultimately what is required is I not upon I S is equal to A upon 1 plus A beta and that is what is A F as it is expected. So this is the derivation basic derivation for A F from the block diagram. Now we'll deal with the input and the output impedances. The effect of uh, current shunt over input and output impedances. This is input impedance, derivation for input impedance for uh, current shunt. So I've just drawn the block diagram, internal block diagram for A and it has been replaced by ZI, A into II and Z0. So this is the diagram. Now we have to derive for uh, ZIF. This has already been derived. So ZIF is now required where ZIF can be written as if this is C, uh, it's important, this is VI, so this is VI, so this is VI, so I'll write VI here. So what is ZIF can be now can be seen as this, if this is ZIF, then what is the amount of voltage in these two nodes is VI and what is the amount of current is IS. What is the amount of voltage is VI, VI and what is the amount of current is IS. So ZIF can be written as VI upon, sorry, VS upon, excuse me, uh, voltage is VI, so VI upon IS, this is ZIF. Okay, so this has to be derived and uh, Obviously, ZIF in terms of uh, A and beta and also in terms of ZIF, 
die as you may be right okay so now we'll start with the derivation that is from this uh, diagram the findings are vi equal to ii into zi and we'll start with this uh, diag this uh, analysis only so vi equal to ii ii can be written as is minus if into zi which can be written as is minus if into zi minus if into zi uh, that can be written as is zi minus if can be written as uh, beta i naught that is beta i naught into zi and i naught can be written as a into i i so vi equal to is uh, zi minus beta i naught is uh, a into i i a into i i into zi where i i into zi can be written as vi so ultimately vi equal to i s zi minus beta into a into vi so ultimately it can be derived as vi see vi plus a into beta vi equal to i s into zi and therefore ultimately 1 plus a beta equal to i s into zi and therefore vi upon is that is required is equal to zi upon 1 plus a beta and that is nothing but zi f so this is what is required so what we can comment uh, from this uh, derivation is uh, this zi f is uh, zi upon 1 plus a beta that is it is decreasing from the uh, open loop gain from the open loop input input impedance it is decreasing by the factor 1 plus a beta now we will consider uh, now we will derive the output impedance now for the output impedance for correction feedback uh, so as we can see that uh, the diagram has already been drawn so now output impedance is under consideration uh, these two conditions always uh, uh, for output impedance uh, two conditions are always uh, implied those are rl has to be made infinity and second that is is has to be made, made zero so what we'll do is i'll remove this is part that is no is is there so it makes i i equal to minus if so this is the reason for this and rl is made infinity so v naught is now applied across these two nodes V and I naught I can take it as in any direction means uh, polarity if polarity is considered then you can take in the opposite direction also but okay I naught is fine uh, so we are having this diagram and we have to derive uh, Z naught or Z O F actually so Z O F is what is the applied if Z O F is considered here so Z O F is what is the amount of voltage that is applicable is this much Z naught and what is the amount of current we are getting is I naught so V naught upon I naught is required. So we'll start the derivation with the KCL equation only here. So KCL, I'll write KCL I naught equal to, there are two divisions that is A into I I one part and plus V naught upon Z naught that is voltage is there and Z naught impedance is there. So amount of current is, whatever be the amount of current is V naught upon Z naught. So I naught equal to A into I I plus, uh, okay, we'll uh, replace I I from here because V0 and I0 both are uh, available in this equation. So II can be replaced as minus IF plus V0 upon Z0 and thus I0 can be written as minus AIF. IF can be replaced by uh, beta into I0 plus V0 upon Z0 and therefore I0 1 plus a beta equal to v naught upon z naught and ultimately uh, what is required is v naught upon i naught so z naught upon uh, into 1 plus a beta equal to v naught upon i naught and that is z o f that is z naught 1 plus a beta so what is the inference is output impedance with feedback is increasing from the Z0 part. Z0 into a factor that is obviously greater than unity. So this completes our voltage shunt. 
thank you and uh, consider subscribing and if there are any comments please uh, please uh, mention it in the comment box and i'll try to answer most of the questions